see developers doing conditional rendering like this in React all the time, and there's a better way to do it. So I have this simple survey here, and you can toggle your rating style between stars and numbers. When you choose a rating, it's going to show thank you for selecting the rating. If you choose a rating of zero, it's going to ask you why we suck. Then as you change, it's going to show you a different widget here, depending on the rating that you've picked. So there's a couple of issues with this. The first issue is that this rating style toggle here is really complicated. And then the second issue is that we have all these rating equals and and operations down here. And this makes our display logic really complicated. So what I'm about to show you here doesn't just apply to React, this applies to all of your functional code. So the best way to deal with this is to remove this from the main component here and move it out into separate components. And remember, React components are just functions. So we can create a new function here, function rating. And then I'm going to move all of this rating code here from the button and the rating style up into rating. And I'm going to return it. Now I'm also going to move the rating style state up into this component as well. And we need to wrap this in a fragment. Now we also need to pass in our rating and set rating. So rating and set rating. Now let's render this and you can see already our survey component is much cleaner. So we'll pass in our rating and set rating. And our survey performs the same, but our survey component here is much cleaner. So now what would we do about all these conditions? So I'm going to create a new function called question. And then inside of question, we're going to take a rating and I'm going to default this rating to negative one. And then I'm just gonna say, if rating is less than zero, we're just going to return null because returning null in React components is perfectly legitimate. And next, I wanna take all of this code here and I wanna render out question and we need to pass in our rating. And I wanna move this up into question. And now I just want to change these into if statements and early returns. So I'm gonna say if rating is equal to zero, then we're going to return this fragment. Now we can remove this. If rating is equal to one, then we're going to return and then so on for all of our questions. So now our survey performs the same, but our survey component here, where we're going to house a bunch of other complicated logic is suddenly much cleaner. So as I said, this doesn't just apply to React, this applies to all functional programming. You can remove complicated logic that's going to return a value or an object of values or an array of values out into a different function. And this is going to free up some space in your main function and make it easier to read.